Hello everyone, welcome to JB Edu Guide. Today, we will discuss about a new chapter of Grade 6, Ocean and Continents. Open your textbook, notebooks, and let's start. Imagine that you are an astronaut looking at Earth from space. What do you see? A beautiful, mostly blue sphere. This blue color comes from the vast amounts of water covering our planet. In fact, nearly three-fourths of Earth's surface is covered in water, therefore Earth is called as Blue Planet. Hey there, today in this video, we will discuss about the distribution of water and land on the Earth, the five major oceans, marine life and biodiversity, understanding the boundaries of the Indian Ocean, oceans and disasters, understanding continents, different ways to count, exploring islands and Antarctica, oceans and life. So let's start. If you're enjoying this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to JB at YouGuide, and click the bell icon for more simple and clear lessons. If you need simple and detailed notes on this topic, comment below and share with your friends. Let's understand about ocean and continents. Early astronauts were so fascinated by this view that they lovingly called Earth as Blue Planet, but water is not the only thing that makes Earth special. When you look closely, you will also see the color brown, which represents land. Although land covers only a little over one-fourth of the Earth's surface, it plays a big role in our lives. Dear students, do you know, the large bodies of water we see are called oceans, and the big stretches of land are known as continents, a large body of land is called a landmass. Let's understand the importance of ocean and continents, both oceans and continents play a vital role in shaping the climate of the earth, they affect all aspects of life, including all plants and animals, and therefore, human life too. We see their impact throughout our history and culture, and in our daily lives. You can see, the emblem of the Indian Navy, contains, the motto, Sam no Verena, which means, be auspicious to us, O Verena. This is an invocation to Verua, a Vedic, deity associated with the oceans, the sky, and water in general. Moving forward, let's understand about the distribution of water and land on the Earth. The Earth's water and land are not evenly distributed between the northern and southern hemispheres. Northern hemisphere of Earth has more land compared to water. Whereas southern hemisphere has more water than land, you can see the globe, the continent with the most land in the northern hemisphere is. Asia, which is the largest continent on Earth, covering more land area than any other continent, Asia has many large countries. Like China, Russia, India, which add to its vast land area. Now let's go to second subtopic, five major oceans. Dear students, on the world map, you can see five main oceans. Those are the Pacific Ocean, Atlantic Ocean, Indian Ocean, Arctic Ocean, and Southern or Antarctic Ocean. Let's understand about the size of oceans. The Pacific Ocean is the largest of the five oceans, followed by the Atlantic Ocean. The Indian Ocean is the third largest with the Southern Ocean being the fourth in size. The smallest of the five oceans is the Arctic Ocean. Let's understand the boundaries of the Indian Ocean. The Indian Ocean is bordered by Asia to the north, Africa to the west, and Australia to the east. To the south, it is connected to the Southern Ocean on either side of India. There are two important parts of the Indian Ocean. The Arabian Sea lies to the west of India. The Bay of Bengal is located to the east of India. 
Next. Let's understand about Marine life and biodiversity. Dear students, Do you know? The oceans are home to a wide variety of life. The plant life in the ocean is known as Marine flora. Includes tiny plants called Algae and various seaweeds. Next, the animal life in ocean is known as marine fauna. Includes thousands of species, such as colorful fish, dolphins, whales, and many mysterious creatures that live in the deep sea. Each part of the ocean, from the bright surface to the dark depths, is full of different life forms. Hey students! Next let's understand about oceans and disasters. First let's discuss about clouds and rain. When looking at a picture of Earth, you might notice white shapes covering parts of the globe. These are large masses of clouds. These clouds are responsible for bringing rain to the continents. For example, the monsoon rains in India which are crucial for agriculture and life originate in the ocean next let's discuss about ocean related storms oceans can also create powerful storms these storms like cyclones bring heavy rain or strong winds and can cause significant damage especially in coastal areas next let's understand Another dangerous natural event that begins in the ocean. Tsunamis. It is a massive and powerful wave, usually triggered by a strong earthquake or a volcanic eruption beneath the ocean. Tsunamis can travel over long distances and flood coastal areas, leading to widespread destruction. For example, on December 26, 2004, a huge tsunami caused by an earthquake in Indonesia hit India and 13 other countries around the Indian Ocean. Over 200,000 people lost their lives. In India, the Andaman and Nicobar Islands, as well as the coasts of Tamil Nadu and Kerala, were badly affected. Tsunamis like this are rare but very destructive. Fortunately, they can often be detected before they reach the coast. Many countries, including India, work together in an early warning system to help protect lives and property. India also has a National Disaster Management Authority to handle such disasters and minimize damage. Continent is another important aspect of this chapter. Students do you know? How many continents are there? When looking at a map of the oceans, you can see the continents. But counting them isn't straightforward. As the number can vary between 4 and 7, depending on how they are grouped. So let's discuss how many continents are there. The number of continents may vary as different ways to count. First type of count includes four continents. Africa Eurasia, America, Antarctica and Australia. Second division of continents divides into five continents, which are Africa, America, Antarctica, Australia and Eurasia. You can see the map. Next division includes six continents like africa antarctica australia eurasia north america and south america see the map the most widely adopted used worldwide and most commonly used count is seven continents which are africa Antarctica, Asia, Australia, Europe, 
North America. South America. Dear students have you seen the five Olympic rings? The rings were chosen to represent five inhabited continents. Africa. America. Asia. Australia and Europe. Dear students. If you have looked closely at the maps, you might have noticed that not all land is part of a continent. Some smaller land areas, completely surrounded by water, are called islands. While continents are also surrounded by water, they are much larger and therefore not considered islands. There are hundreds of thousands of islands on Earth, and they vary greatly in size. Greenland is the largest island in the world. It's so big that you would need to combine the areas of the 10 largest states in India to match its size. Do you know? India has over 1,300 small islands. The two main island groups are the Andaman and Nicobar Islands in the Bay of Bengal, and the Lakshadweep Islands in the Arabian Sea. Since 1981, India has been exploring Antarctica a continent with an extremely cold climate. In 1983, India set up its first scientific base there, called Dakshin Gangatri. Next, let's discuss about oceans and life. Oceans and continents are essential to our environment and influence many aspects of our lives, even if we don't always realize it. Oceans are a key part of the Earth's water cycle, helping to produce rainfall. Without oceans, there would be no rain, and the Earth would become a desert. Oceans also produce more than half of the world's oxygen through their plant life, earning them the title, the planet's lungs. Oceans have had a significant influence on humanity throughout history. People have used them for migration trade, military campaigns, and as a vital source of food through fishing. So dear students we should protect oceans. The United Nations has made June 8th as World Oceans Day to remind us how important the oceans are. They are like the lungs of our planet, giving us oxygen, food, and medicine and are a vital part of Earth's life. Unfortunately, human activities are polluting the oceans. We dump millions of tons of plastic into the water every year, harming marine life. Other types of pollution and overfishing are also damaging the ocean environment. It's our shared responsibility to protect the oceans for the future of our planet and all of humanity. If you're enjoying this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to JB Edu Guide, and click the bell icon for more simple and clear lessons.